For a lot of you trying to decide if you should go from a hard drive to a normal SSD or super blazing fast SSDs, watch this video because at the time of recording this, I haven't even used an SSD. I just did a test with my hard drive and I'm getting an SSD tomorrow morning and getting that program. So we're going to see how that works for video editing and, you know, just some basic other stuff. So if you want real world usage on how it won't bottleneck you or whatever, then, you know, stay tuned for the video instead of seeing those generic, oh, this is the boot up time, this is how fast it opens applications. It's just like, yeah, why would you spend that much money just so you can open stuff faster? Like, you know what, let's just see what the real performance is of getting an SSD. Alright, so we have this little sequence of a few skateboarding clips that I've taken. Um, so I hit right click, open in Adobe. Um, we got 100% on the uh, hard drive, just trying to catch up to open on uh, After Effects. Um, still waiting. Uh, whole computer's pretty much not responsive at this point. Um, still loading up After Effects. Uh, this is a pain when you have a normal hard drive and your response time is like over a thousand milliseconds and you're trying to just open and edit one little clip in uh, After Effects. So we're playing stabilized motion, just a little generic uh, effect and we're going back over to Premiere and we're going to take another one of the longer clips. We're going to do the same thing and it uh, the disc uh, tries to catch up and takes a while before we can even go back into After Effects. There we go, we got uh, the second clip, and for this clip we're gonna do the same thing, just a little quick generic stabilized motion, and we're going back to Premiere. Um, the whole point of this exercise is when you see it's the hard drive keeps going up. Uh, we're just gonna play this through. Um, <clears throat> the point of this little experiment is just to show how much your hard drive keeps trying to get used when you're using multiple layers or you have several applications open and there's a heavy workload because uh, everyone's always talking about how SSDs are so good for opening files and just the speed and boot up time but you know what about heavy workloads look the disk is at 100% and the video froze like what is that what is going on guys 100% the whole hard drive is being bottlenecked like it's it's lagging it's going along like you know what what is this oh no this is probably gonna get worse I mean it's a, it's a slideshow look at that it's just a slideshow you can't even watch anything uh, the whole hard drive is maxed out at 100% I mean you guys can clearly see that in the tax manager um, still 100% still slideshow and that's not even an after effects program it's just because it's got too much work to do just so much is going on and my hard drive can't keep up with it so yeah um now this it did something and like it just snapped and uh now it's still at 100 percent just doing something on its own like i guess it's trying to write the files from the last request um and here's loading into the ram preview in after effects you know i'm not gonna focus too much on the st stabilizing motion but uh look hard drive boom shooting up to 100 percent um you know, it's just stopped. CPU drops, and it's just like, what? Why? Why do you keep stopping? Like, why is the RAM preview not going all the way through? Like, I have enough RAM. It's just my hard drive can't load enough RAM. Uh, it can't load enough like hard drive file data into the RAM. That's how slow it is. So I mean, I have to sit there and wait on it. And here, same project. After I got an SSD, we're gonna open it up, and you know, it's loading up, and boom. Bam, like we're pretty much ready to work. It's 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 there. Remember the other thing? It felt like it took hours. Boom, we're doing stabilized motion. Again, this is a few days later with the SSD. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing here, and you know we're gonna click. Hey, boom! It's ready to go. We didn't have to wait on anything. I'm ready to work in After Effects. Uh, just doing the analyzing, and let's go ahead and just do the little uh, playthrough. Let me get the uh, task manager back up. Bam. And, you know, the other thing was that, like, 100%. Um, let me get this focused. Uh, this DSLR is not autofocused. But, you know, hard drive, it's at, like, 0%. I mean, it's waiting on me instead of me waiting on it. So now we're going to do a uh, 
little basic playthrough in a second. And yeah, so we're playing the video through, just like before, we just hit the space bar. Um, hard drive, 2%. I mean, that's with the analyst going on in the background at the same time. So this is even a heavier workload than before, because that one I kind of wait a little bit for it to actually like fully do the, the stabilizing motion. But as you can see, the, uh, the hard drive, oh, look, it, it, it kind of went up to 87%, but it didn't lag. And we got this clip. Um, remember, if you guys recall the uh, normal hard drive example, it was it was hitting 100% right here. It was turning into a slideshow. I mean, you couldn't see what was going on, but this is full 1080p, just casual 30 frames per second. Um, yeah, everything is playing smoothly. No slideshow. Uh, it's not even getting close to the max. Like, boom, look at the smoothness. Um, so yeah, an SSD is so much better for workloads. Also, when you hit the uh, little preview option, you're just trying to render everything in the preview. Uh, the CPU will stay at 100% because the hard drive, I meant the SSD, it's got everything together. Um, boom, look, 1%. Now we're doing that RAM preview thing again, where before uh, we noticed that it kept topping at 100%, and it was lagging along, and it couldn't load enough data into the RAM. And, uh, you know, oh, cool, went up to like 73%, now it's down to 40%, you know, we're not ta we're not maxing out, it's not lagging, you know, it's just going full-blown, and bam, I mean, look at that, everything was perfect, now the it dropped back down to 0%. Hard drive was, the SSD is so much better than a hard drive for video editing, so if you need video editing, get an SSD.